Hello, my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the introvert, and I'm on the road again. Yes, we're on another adventure. We are heading down to Shelburne, Nova Scotia. They're having the giant pumpkin festival today. And the last time we were there was just a couple of years ago, and that was our first time there. And we had such a great time, we thought we'd head on back. And right now we're at the garage. Gerald is just putting some air in the tires just to make sure all is well there. And then guess what? We're heading to Tim Hortons. Yes, and I have this gift card that was given to me by a Secret Pal, a special viewer. Yes, so today, say, uh, thank you Secret Pal for this wonderful gift card. And it's definitely gonna come in handy this morning. to Shelburne. in Shelburne my friends so let's go take a look at a lot of pumpkins Shelburne is a very beautiful town and the people are really nice here too I really like coming to Shelburne it's a very picturesque town a lot of history here as well and a lot of films are filmed here as well This is quite interesting. That's a hummingbird. Well, it stopped, but it's in the stump of a tree. Hmm. With beautiful flowers. Oh, there it goes again. Here's the view, my friends. Isn't it a nice view? And we're heading down in that direction right there. This is quite interesting here, and there's a little placard here. Shelburne Loyalist Commemoration. And there's some nice information on that right there. There's some benches and a picnic table. And on this sign right here, it reads, use your smile to change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Here's a very interesting tree with lots of color and with lots of berries. There's quite a few people heading in the same direction as we are. And there's also a very, very large chair for anyone who wants to sit and relax. The building just ahead is the Dory Shop. And there's a lot of really nice buildings in this area. 
with a lot of character. There's some more of these and I do believe they're called whirl gigs and they are just outside the Shelburne County Museum and someday I'd like to go into this museum. I've never been in it before but I'm sure I'll be here soon to go in. I really like those especially the Blue Jay over there. Now we got a 1,144 pound pumpkin. Congratulations, Craig. Things that we're going to race in the Atlantic Ocean. It's never been done before. We're also going to have some sunflower measuring and some squash and zucchini measuring. Here comes another pumpkin. Look at the size of that one. That looks like a big guy. So over all of these years, the biggest pumpkin we've ever had would probably be 1,165 pounds, which was last year from John Porter. And who owns this guy? John Porter again. How many pounds uh, is the... 17. Now John, how long have you been growing pumpkins? Okay. Very good. So in five years, John has been able to accomplish this. There's a wonderful turnout as you can see. There's a little breeze, but it's not too, too chilly. And there's a lot of nice little pumpkins that are carved. The children have been busy this morning carving their pumpkins. There's quite a few all along the way. couple more cute little pumpkins and quite a few more as well all along the way. There's some tables set up where people are covering pumpkins and some more over there as well. Can I see your pumpkin? Wow you did a really good job. That's fantastic. Good job. Yes, they have quite a few tables set up for carving the little pumpkins. A lot of people busy this season growing those large pumpkins. I wouldn't mind making some pumpkin bread with those. And there's a little kitty cat sitting on the top of that one. Looks like a very large squash on that forklift. Anybody want some squash pie? I've had it before and it's very delicious. That squash there is 199 pounds. <laughs> they have a stand set up right there where they're selling popcorn, 
and some pop and a few other things as well. <laughs> it's quite nice how they have this set up. Very nice. And they're busy as you can see. There's a nice lineup for snacks and treats. There's a lady with a costume and she has some bubbles happening. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. Wow. There they go. There goes the bubbles and there goes the kids. <laughs> That's terrific. This is a fantastic idea. See those pumpkins in the water? People are actually going to go in there and use them as a boat. I think they're going to race them actually, which could be very interesting and amusing too. That man there has a lobster on the back of his cape. And I'm assuming that that pumpkin there with all the lobsters on it has blue on it as well. And also pictures of lobsters. I'm assuming that's probably his pumpkin boat. And as you can see even behind me there's a lot of people. <laughs> there's a lot of people waiting for this race to start. I'm right here up near the front. I've got a good spot, a good view of everything. The cameraman over there. I heard someone say he's from CTV. Not sure though, but that could be a possibility. Oh, getting ready for a picture. I figured that was his boat. I figured. <laughs> and she's got a life jacket on. I think that's very wise. <laughs> Costume. Oh my. <laughs> what a bunch.
This is probably right here. Okay. Yeah, right up there. Then let's go to the bike. <laughs> Oh my. Feel the pumpkin is completely full of water. They just went around the bend. Oh, they're on their way back. <laughs> oh, that's the lobster superhero, the one with the lobster on his cape. He seems to be coming first.
it. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. And now we're going to head down to the farmer's market to see what we can see there. I still can't get over what an amazing turnout this has been. There's just tons and tons of people everywhere and everybody's having a great time. <laughs> it's been a good day, really good day. There's one of the pumpkins back in the back of that pickup truck. We're heading down in this vicinity and there seems to be crowds of people here too, which is good. It's good support. Very good community support. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people and it's great to see. Quite nice. They look like they're handmade. And there's a shark. That turns two. <laughs> we have quite a bit of everything here by the looks of it. And also some nice cranberries. These are quite nice. Nice and soft. Nice bags. I like that, that's really nice. This is a nice table too. With some stars. Some homemade soaps. And they smell really good too. They even have a lot of beautiful jewelry. Very nice display of jewelry. There's some very nice cards. And some lobster puppets. Those are beautiful. Wow, beautiful. I absolutely love your table. This is nice. Oh, thank you very really much. Nice. It's lots of fun to make. And you made these puppets here? I did. Oh, wow. A lot of repurposed material. So some of them were suits, some of them were scarves, some oh, of them my. were chairs or pillowcases. Wow, yeah. they're beautiful. Good job. Thanks. Good job. Thank you very much. I wonder what kind of whale that is. <laughs> and it's in front of a beautiful, beautiful building. So we're heading back to the car and Josh was starting to get a little bit hungry. He hasn't had lunch yet so we're going to see if we can find a nice restaurant, a nice quiet restaurant to have lunch. We'll see if we can find one not too far from here and I hope it's not too too busy. <laughs> Gerald, Stacy, and Joshua are just ahead. It's starting to rain a little bit, but I'm really happy that it held off while everybody was down enjoying the pumpkin festivities. And here we are at Ocean Treasures Takeout Restaurant, but you can also eat inside. And this restaurant is in Barrington. And they're ready for Halloween. So this is what we're dealing with. We have some scallops. We have some shrimp. We have some clams. We have some haddock right in the back there. We have the fries underneath and the tartar sauce. And this was the special for the day. And we all got the special. Well, 
we're back in the car and the meal was absolutely delicious. I'm so glad that we went there. It was nice and quiet and the food was excellent and the service was excellent too. But now we're home. We're homeward bound. We're back in the car and in about an hour we'll be back in Yarmouth. It's been a really pleasant day and it's been a fun day too. I'm so glad you guys joined us today on this adventure. And if you like this vlog, please give it a YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button.